So let's review here and make sure you've got your uh, blog set up correctly. This is for the assignment called Start Your Blog, Your First Post. So the instructions here are going to tell you to, uh, before you begin, click here and confirm your blogger profile. So for you, it's going to say blogger profile, display name, and you can just put your first name, last initial right there, and then continue to blogger. Now mine looks a little different uh, because I've already got my blog going, but you're going to see up here, create blog. Once you create blog, it's going to ask you for a title. Now make your title something having to do with science, like uh, Gonzalez's science blog. It could be that simple. Or it could have something to do with our Starship Equinox story. You could be, uh, you know, Crewman Jones aboard the Starship or something cool like that. Now when you go to next, this part's super important. This is going to be the address that people click on to go to your blog. So I can use the same name as before, Gonzalez Science Blog, but look what I'm doing differently. It's all lowercase and no spaces. Now notice if I put Gonzalez Science, it says, sorry, this blog address is not available. That means somebody already picked it and we can't have two people with the same address, or when you click on it, it doesn't know who to go to. So if you put a number after it, chances are it'll make it available, or you could change the name, like this. Gonzalez Science Blog is available, so you would save it, and your address would be whatever it says here. For me, it's gonzalezscienceblog.blogspot.com, and then you save it. I'm not going to save it because I don't actually want to create it. Once you save your blog, you don't have to create any more blogs. You've got your one science blog. So every blogging assignment you get, you then want to click on here, new post. So a blog is all your posts and a post is every assignment you do. So your first post, when you click on new post, Go up here to title, and it's going to be seven random facts. Or you could call it about me or something more creative. And then you start writing your seven random facts. And you get to seven, and you're done. Now, if you're in the middle of working, you have to click here for more options to save. So you save it, you go away, and it's still there, and look. You click on it, your work is still there. This is fantastic. When you're ready to share it with me, you have to publish. So watch this. When I go to publish, it's published. Notice this one says published, this one says draft. I'm still working on the draft one. The published one is published. So how do you give me the link? You go over here to the eyeball and look. It says view. Click on that, and now I've got my post. Oh, look up here. This is where you get the URL or link or address to your blog post. I'm going to do control C to copy. Don't want that. Go to Classcraft, and on the task, it says I have to write a seven random facts. It shows me an example. And then it shows me there how to get the correct link to uh, Classcraft. And I just go to Assignment. And look, I already pasted it there. You're going to click on Assignment, do Control-V to paste, and then Submit. And that's how you get your first assignment done on Start Your Blog.